singer's advice. Thanks for joining me. Well, before we get on with today's lesson, I just want to check that you have subscribed to singer's advice. Now, if you're already subscribed to YouTube, you need to get over to singer's advice and subscribe to there because if you don't, you're not going to get this fantastic three part tutorial that I've recorded that is completely free but it is exclusively for Singers Advice subscribers. So you need to just pop over to the website, singersadvice.com, put your email in the subscribe box, click the button, <laughs> and there you go. You will get sent three special videos, which is, it's on the top 10 tips for being the best singer that you can be, really. It's my secret tips, so I'm giving you insight into what I think is really important for you to focus on and just, yeah, to get, make you the best singer that you can be. <laughs> I'm sure I've already said that. Anyway, get over there and subscribe. And uh, let's get on with today's lesson, which is a major arpeggio. So if you haven't watched my video on the major scale, you might wanna go back and watch that and learn that and then move on to this because until you know how to sing a major scale um, I don't think you're gonna know or need to or you know the major arpeggio comes from the major scale so you need to know what the major scale is first before you sing an arpeggio and I've also explained in the major scale how I like to teach it with numbers, so I've kind of gone over that, and today I'm going to be using those numbers to teach you the major arpeggio. Um, right, <laughs> anyway, let's do it. So, the major arpeggio is built up of one, three, five, and eight. <laughs> I know that's four, but it's built up of those four notes or those four numbers okay so one three five and eight so really it's three notes because this one and this one are an octave and you're going to be doing the bits in the middle so let's just recap the major scale so on those numbers again so let's do it so we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight so that's the ascending major scale so, how do we sing an arpeggio? Well, we just need to be able to sing the numbers 1, 3, 5, and 8. And that is how it sounds. Ba, 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 ba. Okay? So, 1, 3, 5, 8, 5, 3, 1. That is a major arpeggio again like I said with the major scale once you know it once you've learned it you can just move it it's movable it's not like you have to learn every single scale differently I think that's the special thing about being a singer is once you know one scale you can sing them all you can because it's just by ear you're not having to change your fingering or you know you're not having to press different things it's just within you and i think that is the basis to being a great singer is that when you learn songs or scales or arpeggios that they're just within you and you can just it's like you've got this little box of tricks and you can just pull it out of the bag. It's just there, okay? So let's learn it. So, one, so you just got to sing the root note. One, then we're going to sing the third, which we call number three from our scale. sung a major arpeggio. Should we do that again? One, three, five, eight, five, three, one. So that is a major arpeggio. 
the theory side, I guess you are singing your root note, a third, a fifth, and an octave. Okay? Now, this is why I do it with numbers. We're doing one, three, five, and eight. There you go, you've already got your intervals. You already know what intervals you're singing. So you've got one, a third, three, a fifth, five, and your octave. Eight. So you're already singing intervals by learning the major arpeggio. You already know what intervals you're singing because you're doing it with numbers. And I think in the modern singing world, that is the language, okay? And like I said, you can just move it around. So once you know that, once that is cemented within you, and you're like, la da 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 you can just go around singing the major arpeggio. Ways of singing that, ways of practicing that are just like we've just done. So just going up different in different keys, starting from maybe your lowest, the lowest note in your range, working your way up to the highest note in your range. Um, also, I suppose practicing intervals is going to help you with that. So you've got an interval of a third, which is your one and your three. So you can be practicing things like that. La, 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 la. Helps you with a third. of the major arpeggio. So before we finish, um, let's do um, lots of major arpeggios because that is the only way to really get better at it. So here we go. Sing it with me. You can do it on the numbers if that's if you're comfortable with that. Do it on whatever sound you like, la, do, whatever. Just let's try it. We will start from play anything dodgy on the way up. I'm a singer, not a pianist. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> to YouTube but if you want to get access to more freebies and just info and soon I'm bringing out a vocal workout so you don't want to miss that because I have put that together and recorded it recently and it's going to be something that you can have you can download it and it's there and you can warm up to it you can practice to it it's going to develop 
all of your skills and you're only going to know about that coming out if you subscribe to Singer's Advice. So get over to singersadvice.com, get your free three part tutorial, the 10 top tips of the secrets to success and being the best singer that you can be. So I'll see you again soon at Singer's Advice.